BTEC Applied Science Unit 1 Chemistry Elements and Compounds. So there are nat 92 naturally occurring elements, ones that occur in nature. Now, what is an element? An element is uh, a substance that's made of only one type of atom. So how many types of atom are there? Well, occurring in nature, there are 92. Uh, gold is made of gold atoms. Oxygen is made of oxygen atoms. Fair enough, there's the glue together in a molecule, but it's only one type of atom. It is an element. An element is made of one type of atom. This is all of the elements. This is the periodic table of the elements. And an awful lot of the chemistry is all about this table and learning your way around this table, particularly the first 20 elements. If you're bored, uh, learn the first 20 elements. It's a very useful thing to be able to do. You know, uh, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, the first 20 elements. Elements can chemically combine to form compounds. And I'm not talking about a mixture where they're just jumbled together like red and blue Smarties. A chemical reaction has happened. They are chemically combined. And there are two types of compound. And the two types of compound are called, you should know, they are covalent and ionic. Now, what is an ion? An ion is an atom or molecule that has gained or lost one or more electrons. You should know that atoms are made of protons and neutrons and electrons. If it gains or loses one or more electrons, you get an ion. For example, Ag+, Na+, Mg2+, Ca2+. Uh, if it gains an electron, Cl-, F-, these are positive and negative ions. Now, what do you notice? The ones on the left are metals. The ones on the right are non-metals. There should be something very obvious about their ions. Okay, so metal ions are positive. Uh, non-metal ions are negative. Can we predict what charge a metal ion will have? Okay. Uh, also, there are these things. What are these things? NO3 minus nitrate, uh, hydroxide, OH minus, carbonate, CO3, 2 minus, sulfate, SO4, 2 minus. You need to know them. You need to learn them, by the way, including the charge. Write them down. Yeah, NO3 minus, CO3, 2 minus. Learn them. Here's an equation for a chemical reaction. Uh, so this is methane plus oxygen goes to carbon dioxide plus water. Uh, what's wrong? And I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It isn't balanced. You need to have in the equation, you need to have the same number of atoms on each side of the equation. Now it's balanced. Now we have one carbon on either side. OK, we have uh, four oxygens on either side. We have four hydrogens on either side. Now we say the equation is balanced. How do you balance equations? You practice. Once you've done a few, you'll realize the, you know, the little tricks and things. You'll be able to spot what you need to do to balance it, to get the same number of each thing on either side. Can you balance this one? Pause the video and see if you can have a go at balancing this equation by yourself. And the answer is there. Now it's balanced. OK, so here are some questions. What is an element? What is a compound? What are the two types of compound called? What is an ion? Uh, and then balance these equations. Oh, there's another one and another one. Lots of practice balancing equations. 
there's a couple of very good videos on YouTube I recommend you have a look at uh, just do a, a search on YouTube one about Mendeleev who came up with the periodic table and another one will, which will give you a few tips as to how to go about balancing equations.